Diddy is finished. You put him up there with all the worst people in the world. He is the devil. And it's definitely confirmed. Now, I knew he was like that back in the day. I heard stories from people. I saw interviews when when the locks was trying to talk to him and, and when they were trying to get out their contract and how nice they were talking to him. I'm like, I thought you was from Yonkers. I thought you was from the streets. I saw street dudes respect him. I knew he was like that. I heard about him. So many artists were, were talking about this evil man, and he almost fooled everybody. You know, he had the show on the making in the band where – he abused these people, told them to go get cheesecakes. And it's just all coming out. It's all coming out. See, that's what we need. We need people of courage. Someone to risk their life because he has a lot of money. All you need is $5,000. Really, you can um, have somebody uh, beat somebody up or even murder them, allegedly. That's what I heard 50 Cent say. If you have money, and this dude got plenty of it. This dude is so evil. He was doing this all the way since he was starting his career when he was in Howard University. He was working intern for um, Upbeat Records, and then he ended up getting a job there with Andre Harrell. And Andre Harrell had to fire him because he was beating people up in offices, wearing his shirt off. This is the who he is. His father was a murderer in Harlem where he got murdered early. There's rumors saying that Sean Diddy smacked his mother, beat up his mom. And I'm so thankful this stuff is coming out because a lot of us growing up, we looked up to these superstars. Because that's all they do is show you, show you, all the money, all the glitz and the glamour, and then you say, I want to be that, or you got girls that want to sleep with them or whatever the case may be. And this is, I'm just thankful this stuff is coming out. See, Cat Williams said it in the beginning of the year, this is the year of truth. He said, the best thing you could do is not go to Diddy's parties. And sometimes you need one person to tell the story. And, and shout out to Cassie for having the courage to do this. Now, the video is floating around, so I'm not going to even play it. I don't even want to get a copyright or what have you or get it banned, but I'm not going to play it, but we all saw it. Now, according to CNN, uh, the 2016 surveillance video obtained exclusively by CNN show Sean, show Sean Diddy Combs grab, shove, drag, and kick his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura during an altercation. That matches allegations in the now settled federal lawsuit filed by Ventura in November. Now let's look at let's think about this. This is almost ten years ago. This video been floating around eight years, and so what I my guesstimation is he went in there, P Diddy, and he paid those people off to not put this video out. And I think he paid a lot of people off in different hotels all across the country in different venues because this is what he used to do. And he's ain't the, he ain't the only one, but he's going to be the topic of conversation today because I'm pissed. This is ridiculous. Kicking that girl, she's probably weighing 110 pounds, and he's beating her like a like a grown man. But when 50 Cent or somebody else say something to you, you don't say nothing back. Oh, it's all love. And I knew it was a scam when he's changed his name to Diddy, to Love. He knew this was coming. He got an award recently. And when he was on a war show, he gave a shout out to Cassie because he knew this was coming. But I think for a while he was he was not trying to pay her. He probably said beat it. But the smart thing that the her uh Cassie's attorney did was they cause she was an employee, they sued the company. That was the key. They sued the company and the company has insurance. So they had to legally respond. This was going on. Everything that she said was true. I think everything that everybody is going to say right now is true about this guy. Now, there's going to be some people who want to get money, but the people who had experiences with him 
They saw this happening. Diddy is an evil man, and, and I knew this from back in the day. People were going against what I was saying. He, there's rumors, allegedly, that he said that he's willing to kill anyone for the success, including his mom. And this was a rumor going around, now, allegedly. But this is how evil this person is when, when you worship uh, money and power so bad more than you, you do Jesus or anything else. And a lot of people, because a lot of the people get uh, want to be successful when they're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old and they're broke and they don't have any education and they may have a talent and they go to him. They go to people in the industry because P. Diddy was groomed. Clyde Davis. There is a tree of this going on. Clyde Davis. Clyde Davis, why did he get Whitney Houston on. Now, Clyde Davis is allegedly gay. No, no, he's not allegedly. He put a book out. He's gay. Then when he finds Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston is gay. According to uh, multiple sources. Her mother, the gay girl that was her, her assistant, that's the girl. Even Bobby Brown said it. Then you have P. Diddy, who came up from him and Andre Harrell, which Andre Harrell, if you watch his videos, he looks pretty feminine, if you will. Who's his best friend? Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons was on serious drugs back in the 80s. And I read his book. In his book, he read drug, He had drugs, and he was messing with a bunch of women. So he don't even remember when he, what he did to these women. That's why he left. He could say whatever he want, but he went to Bali because of that reason. And then you have to question Biggie's lyrics. If anybody knows, Biggie has some shaky lyrics talking about uh, gay acts, if you will. So I'm just thankful that they're, that hopefully they come down on him. I'm glad this is happening because that is unacceptable, what I just saw in that video, what everybody saw in that video. It's one thing to hear it, but when you see it, it's, it really put it into uh, play. That this man is an evil guy, and all his artists, former artists is coming for him. Everybody he dealt with. You had uh, J-Lo. Now, I'm pretty sure he beat her up. I don't have any proof. But she never messed with a black man again after she messed with him. She got out of there. When she was in that shooting and she was running down, um, you know, P. Diddy was running down the, uh, or driving down the highway, chase, getting chased by the cops. And when she got arrested, she never went back. I hope more videos come out. I hope more people talk about what's going on because he needs to be finished. That is unacceptable. I pray for Cassie. I pray for the, her, the victims. And we need to realize that there's other things you can do to be successful in the music industry. The music industry is coming down anyway because of AI and the movie and, and the movie industry and the music industry and, and the arts. It's a scam. A lot of them people are not even making the money that they're making, but they're lying to us and they're trying to uh, court and groom our kids with this this satanic music. The satanic music and the satanic movies is has to end. Tell me what you think about this uh, article, how you feel about the situation. Do you think P. Diddy is going to go down for this? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.